even get to God. Hey, this is Simi for Weed. I'm bringing you a fairly long video today. Wanted to give you guys a garage showcase of all the new lowriders. As you can see, here's the moonbeam. I fully decked it out. Giant speaker in the back, the hydraulics. This one I'm not going to show you it jumping because it doesn't really jump that well. It does jump around, but just not that greatly. It's a cool looking van though. I did it in two tones. With the decal on it. We have the Albany Prino. As you can see it says custom on it now. Once you update these cars at the low rider garage, then they call it a custom car. Let's open up all doors. Start up the motor so you can see the neons. As you can see I put all the top upgrades on this car as well. As you can see the lights look like there's glitching out like a little bit, like the colors have been changing. You can see it flashing there. I'm not sure if everybody else is having this problem as well, but I've noticed that on my system with this new lowrider update. It's like things glitch out for their updates. The license plate on my van was doing the same thing, but I clicked on it again once inside the custom shop when I went back in and it stopped flashing. You can see I put the motor decals on it. You can see all the decals detail there in the motor. It's on the grill as well. You can see the paint design has it in as well underneath the hood on the car doors. It's a pretty cool looking design. Now let's go over here to the next car. This is from that was the Vapuccino behind us if you look. I'm going to take it outside the garage here pretty soon so I can show you guys how she bounces. If you look here, this one here is glitched out. It has the double tops on it. You can see them flashing back and forth. Now this car here had the double tops on it before this update came out. Then when I turned it into a low rider, rider it removed my willy bar off the back of it that I had. I noticed if you tell it to hop like that, uh, your own video doesn't show the back end really bouncing up in the air whenever you tell it to hop. But it turns out that uh, if you uh, look at it and something off the screen, it shows it like it looks like it, like the whole all four wheels bounce off the ground on their screen. But on your screen, it looks like the back end never comes off the ground. I'm not sure if this is a glitch in their Rockstar system. They made the update. If eventually they're going to patch it or what, but. When you tell it to hop on your own screen, you do not see all four wheels pop up in the air. Okay, let's open up all doors. So you can take a look at the interior and everything I put into it. And the speakers. Now this car here has the Yankton plate on it. I'm going to have to move it to another location in the garage so you can get a better look at it. It's my own customized license plate on it. And it's a Yankton plate. And I was trying to get there, try to show it to you, just couldn't get to it. So I tried from the other side, and that didn't work as well. As you looked at this paint scheme, also it gets sprayed on the motor, and on the engine firewall, and everything else. Whenever you do it, which is kind of cool, because whenever I was doing the car up. I did the engine first before doing that. I didn't even see that they sprayed it on the motor. You can see the three subs, the hydraulics. And I skipped that over a little bit of the video so you didn't have to look at it all. But now you can see the Yankton plates and my personalized license plate that says See Me for Weed. Now let's take this car here out next. I have two of these if you look. I have a white one over there with flames on it and I have this orange one. I'll show them all to you. Because I have two different speaker boxes in them. 
in each one. Well, one for each one. As you can see there, the thing on the dash. Like, remember, I told you how the little accessories were flashing and, and like glitching out. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You can see it flashing here. Now, see, she hops pretty good. I'm gonna hop the front out. Looking at it, As you can see there it popped him in the garage. I didn't feel like going back out and showing you it all over again so I just stayed inside the garage and opened up all car doors to give you a better look of all the updates started up for the neons come on you can see it's a pretty sweet looking car for Grand Theft Auto as you can see this here as the Two forward facing subs, three in the middle that are actually backwards facing subs. See the blower underneath the hood. Now when you put the blower on them, it hides the uh, the carburetors on them. So there's no use to put pay money to have fancy looking carburetors on them or inlets when you're going to put a blower on the motor because that actually hides it all. Let's take this next one out. We'll take a look at this real quick. This, I believe, is a, actually a brand new car for the game. As you can see, I put the uh, antique looking white tires in there. This one here, if you notice, it shows it hopping better. This one hops really well, this brand new car they came out with. One thing I found out is you can't do a three wheel the other day I was hopping one of my cars, I actually bounced oh, from side to side. I bounced the car onto the side. I wish I would upload the video from that because that was kind of funny. Then I started fighting trying to get to hop this other direction. The other way was working better for me going the other direction, but it is what it is. We're going to take this car back in. So I can open up all the doors and give you a view of this car as well. You can see hop, hop, hop. Try to look at the gas tank. I forget if this one had an updated one. It doesn't look like it. We can see the they put chrome rear ends on it. When it was a low rider, when you'd have to pay all that extra money for it. It does that automatically whenever you tell it to buy the better version of the car or to upgrade it in the low rider garage. It's expensive to upgrade them though whenever you buy the cars. You buy the cars to begin with then you have to turn it into a low rider car and it gets really expensive. There you can see the name of the car. Let's pop open all doors. I went to the wrong way, so let's turn on the neons. You can see it has blue neons underneath it. We have three uh, subs facing us in the back of the car. You can see the hydraulics, the batteries, the amps, the custom interior, under the hood. This must be like, if you look, it has two turbos on it, one on each side. I wish that actually put turbos on the car whenever you actually, instead of actually having to buy it separately, but it doesn't. You know, it should give it more power even yet because it's dual turbo, but all it is is for appearance. 
And if you look there in the dash, it's not glitching out this one here. See cassette deck, got our leopard print interior in, per, uh, in blue, blue gauges. Surprised they didn't give us a radio option upgrade on the menus. Like put like a little like TV screen in the dash, you know what I mean? And play like the TV channels that actually like play like on your garage TV or in your apartment TV. That would have been funny. This is a repeat of the other car that I have. So let's go take the other one out first. You can see I did the, that girl, the smoky print. I left this, left this car here have white tire smoke because I figured it goes with the flames coming off the car. This car hops pretty good too and jumps. This is that one that's normally all rusty and it turns it into a clean car. It's expensive though, it's like $400,000 to turn this into something that's not all rusty. And that's after buying the car. See there, it bounces really good. Only thing is I noticed that this thing bounces so good that you scratch up the back bumper whenever you jump. If you look back here it's all it has all types of scrapes on it now. You can see the chrome tank under it, which also has scrapes on it from jumping. Oh well, if you look I just got hit by a motorcycle. His blood's all over the side of the car. Like he couldn't see a car in front of him there bouncing. Like I said, you can see all the scrapes in the back just by bouncing it. I noticed a lot of these cars, if you, if you just drive them down normally, don't even have any fender benders, you pull it into the shop, they want to charge you to repair the vehicle without it, without you even damaging the car to begin with. Which is kind of ridiculous. This thing, if you wreck it, I think it costs almost as much for the insurance claim for a complete vehicle as what it does to pay to have it repaired. It's actually, you're better off just to drive it in your own vehicle, in your own garage. If you look here, I put the antique tires in this car here as well, and it made them very thin. As you look at the tires, they're really, they almost look like to be about the size of motorcycle tires. Just way too thin. But that's how they made it on this game. We're going to go inside, we're going to open up all the car doors. So we can take a closer look at all the beauty of these cars. I wish they had an option on the menu where we could open up all, all of our car doors in our whole garage. You see all the doors now are, are open on this car. See the two amps. This time you don't see all the batteries in the back, you just see the hydraulic pumps. That custom car interior. We've got our engine bay. You can see they put the pin work on the back firewall and on the engine. I'm surprised they didn't put like on the inside of the hood as well as a design on it, but they didn't. Maybe that'll come in another update where they'll let us pick a custom design for under the hood. I've seen cars like that at car shows that have a design under the hood. Let's take this one here out next. Like I said, it's a repeat of the other car that I have. One of these I actually bought, the other one I picked off the street and then I paid to upgrade it. 
which I'm not sure if that turns into like basically a car you bought when you stole it off the street and take it into the custom shop and you pay to do it, or not. Because as soon as you do that, you turn it into a low rider. It instantly adds insurance. It adds a tracker to it instantly when you tell it to upgrade the car. And then, of course, it doesn't yell at you saying that it can't sell it for more than 50000 Which I'm surprised, because it was a street car. It was saying it was going to sell for, like, about $400,000 after putting all the upgrades on it. As you can see, since I didn't show the other one of this type of car really balanced in that, like, I don't believe in the video, I decided to make this one here try to balance it. As you can see there, I was trying to fight, trying to get the bounce. It just didn't want to bounce side to side that well for me. And I put the best pump, uh, the best hydraulics on this car that they were offering. Since the last car got hit on the side, I figured I'd bring this one out in the rear a little bit more and, and look towards what's coming towards me. See, it's a pretty nice looking finish. Didn't scratch this one all up when I had it out this time. Let's open all doors again. You can see we got the two subs on the sides, the three in the middle, facing the other direction. See they painted the firewall here with the same yellow as the flames. Of course nothing on the inside of the hood. It would have been really cool if they would actually have had flames on the inside of the hood as well when it was open. I'd like to thank you for coming to my channel. Remember to click like and subscribe. Now if there's anything you'd like me to do on a video and record and upload it, please let me know. See now I'm on the lobby. If you look there, I have 238 million so it's not like I'm poor. I still like the moonbeam over here. The van, even though it doesn't hop that well. This car over here hops pretty good too. So does this one. This one here is the one that has issues with hopping on your own screen, but other people's screen sees it actually hopping no problem. Like I said, that car there was actually a modded car because it has the Yankton plates on it and the back top glitches out. It has the double tops. That's why I didn't turn it into a convertible like this one here I did.